Wow, turns out fact checkers aren't neutral bastions of impartiality after all. They're just corrupt mouthpieces for the establishment. Fact checkers say narrative that contradicts regime isn't happening. Yet another case in point. The Washington Free Beacon reported that as part of a $30 million grant program, the Biden administration is planning to give out free crack pipes to drug addicts in, quote, undeserved communities in the name of, quote, advancing racial equity. Because it worked out so well in San Francisco, Snopes then conducted a fact check of this report and concluded that it was, quote, mostly false. Not because the Biden administration isn't planning to give out free crack pipes to homeless drug addicts. They are, but because, quote, this was just one of around 20 components of the grant program and far from its most prominent or important one. So they are giving out crack pipes to drug addicts, but because that's only one of 20 components of the grant, the claim that they're giving out crack pipes to drug addicts is quote mostly false. What? No it isn't. They are funding crack pipes for drug addicts. That's completely true. You admit it in your own article, but then claim in the same article that it's mostly false. Oh, now the esteemed Snopes has said it's false, then it must be false, even though it's literally not false. So they've turned something into fake news, contributing to the story being buried by social media algorithms. When it's not fake news at all, it's actually happening. Don't forget that Snopes is used by Facebook and others as a neutral independent fact checker. Their supposed impartiality is used to bury stories deemed as misinformation. And yet Snopes has got it wrong time and time again. Like when they said it was mostly false that a 1981 Dean Koontz novel predicted coronavirus. Despite the story centering around a virus released from a lab called Wuhan 400. Snopes was also an early adopter of the notion that the lab leak theory was a debunked conspiracy theory. A narrative circulated by the very same people working in concert with the Wuhan lab to cover their own behind. Snopes routinely fact checks the Babylon Bee, a satirical publication, again in an effort to bury it in social media algorithms. They also fact check memes that are blatantly not intended to be a portrayal of reality. Like this one showing AOC on the price is right. Snopes falsely claimed it was unproven that American Indian activist Nathan Phillips falsely claimed to be a Vietnam veteran. He did falsely claim to be a Vietnam veteran. Snopes hires quote impartial fact checkers who have a history of working with far left news and opinion outlets. Snopes routinely runs cover for Democrats caught in embarrassing situations. When these entities with a consistent track record of hyper-partisanship, dishonesty and outright lying are being handed the power to decide what's misinformation and what's credible, that's not fact-checking, that's cronyism. It's agenda-driven censorship. To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff, and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.